Several months ago, I warned that the US was going to use a chemical weapons false flag attack as an excuse to launch intervention or attack against Syria. And it looks like that's exactly what's happening. Now, after the Bilderberg meeting has ended, after McCain, the demonic Zionist puppet, met with the treacherous dogs of the FSA in Turkey, Obama has suddenly decided that Syria has used chemical weapons against the insurgents. And how convenient this announcement now that the Geneva talks have broken down and the Syrian military is making advances in Homs, Aleppo and Damascus. You know, how transparent is it that suddenly now Obama has decided that Syria used chemical weapons even though a few weeks ago what we were hearing out of the US government was they had absolutely no evidence that this happened. Never mind that there was a UN report by Del Ponte that said that the insurgents had used chemical weapons on civilians. Never mind that Turkish police seized two kilograms of sarin from the homes of al-Nusra al-Saida militants in the course of their investigation into the Rehan Lee bombings. Never mind that Turkey is a country that has been supporting the insurrection and has no reason to make any of that up. And never mind that Iraq arrested terrorists with chemical weapons who were planning on going to Syria. None of that is newsworthy for the American people. The US has a red line, but not a red line if the insurgents or al-Saida use the chemical weapons that they probably gave them. Nor do they mind if they use that to taint soil samples, nor do they mind inventing evidence. And just like they invented evidence about WMDs in Iraq, and once again it was McCain that was pushing that very hard. It's so... in. just like they invented evidence about WMDs in Iraq. And guess who it was that was pushing for war and the lies that time? Once again, it was McCain. It's hard to imagine that the same lies can be given by the same people and the world sits quietly and swallows it. just like they invented evidence about WMDs in Iraq. And guess who it was that was pushing hard for the war and the lies then? McCain. The same lies by proven liars and the world is ready to swallow. The accusations of Sarin are coming from a French news team, Le Monde, some of the footage they took in which they claimed Sarin was used. This insurgent seems to have time to cough before putting on his mask. If this was Saren, even the mask wouldn't be enough to save him because Saren is absorbed through the skin and he would be convulsing on the ground within seconds, as would everybody around him. But now they expect us to believe that tear gas is a weapon of mass destruction. Wasn't the whole premise behind WMDs being a red line the massive devastation and civilian deaths that they would cause? Where are the thousands dead? Instead, we get footage of piff paff and bogus soil samples. If no weapon of devastation was used, what is the excuse to send bigger weapons and keep this war going and cause the deaths of thousands? And since when is the US government world police who can dictate to the world who can use what when it was them that used chemical weapons in Iraq? They were the ones that burned the flesh of human beings with white phosphorus and poisoned the soil with depleted uranium. They were the ones that devastated Al-Anbar and killed thousands in Fallujah. These people don't just kill thousands, they poison generations. Birth defects, horrific birth defects is what they left behind. And where is justice? It's hard to believe that history 
can repeat itself so quickly that people who should really know better and should have learned from history do not. That there are traitors calling themselves Syrian who want to see a repeat of what happened in Iraq in Syria, who betray their nation not only to the enemies of Syria, but the enemies of the world.